In this follow along, we'll cover the Desmartin pyridinane oxidation or DMP oxidation. DMP is actually one of my favorite oxidations and you know, although it's got a bad rap because um, IBX, which is an intermediate to making DMP, you can see it in the middle here, um, and DMP itself are reported to be explosive and or shock sensitive. However, I, I've made, you know, 100 grams of, of DMP uh, back in the day. And the, the key here is that when you're making DMP, you're running it in acetic anhydride and acetic acid, and it's very difficult to dry the DMP. I think when they talk about the shock sensitivity of DMP, they're considering it to be a completely dry solid. And it's very difficult to actually dry DMP so, it's, so it doesn't have any acetic acid or acetic anhydride. In fact, when you open a bottle of DMP, oftentimes you smell the vinegar, you smell the wetness of the, of the the um, acetic acid in there. And so if it's wet with the vinegar, it's very difficult to be shock sensitive. That's just my experience with working with DMP. So despite, if you, if you put the explosive shock sensitivity aside and you trust that it's sort of a damp, wet solid that you're working with and it's not pristinely dry, the nice thing about DMP is that it's dump and stir. So I don't know if you have considered the past few reactions we've looked at, the industrial swern and the industrial tempo oxidations, you know, they have a process to them, especially swern. Swern is you're working at negative 78 degrees, everything has to be kept cold, and then you have to add these two compounds together, and you gotta wait a little while and keep it at negative 78 degrees, and then you inject your alcohol, and then you wait a little while. I mean, you've gotta babysit these reactions. So Des Martin, I guess as a grad student, I loved it because it's dump and stir. PCC is also dump and stir. That's another reason why people like it, despite having to work with chromium. There's always pros and cons to working with these types of things. So for me, I, I love Des Martin just because I could go in the freezer, grab the bottle. It's a white solid, scoop it out, weigh out the amount that I needed, maybe use a little excess because it's going to be wet with the acetic acid. And... Uh, you dump it in, you go to lunch, and you got an oxidized alcohol at the end of the day. So I actually had to make my own DMP. We never seemed to purchase it in our lab. And so I would make gram quantities of it using an orgsin prep that um, Dr. Bob Beckman uh, synthesized, or explained in the literature. And so, you know, we made this in, in large quantities. So how does it work? Well, this is an equilibrium with the iodo species I'm gonna draw. These are acetates. It's a hypervalent oxygen. And so we've got the iodine plus. It has one, two, three, four, five, six and the acetate ion, the other acetate ion. So it's a salt, right? In equilibrium with the acetate on or acetate off. And it's this iodo species that's positive that attracts the alcohol that you're trying to oxidize. So I'll again make the alcohol blue. I will make the DMP molecule black. oxygen bonds to the iodo species. And you end up with This complex
remembering that we have that hydrogen there, right? Now the oxygen, again, because of what's in solution, can be deprotonated, right? There's an acid-base equilibrium here. Perhaps it's one of the acetate ions that removes it. But the other acetate ion, remember the one that is that was kicked off the iodine or exists as the salt, that could act as our conjugate base, the acetate ion. And this is what's going to perform our E2. There's our oxidation. We end with the iodinane. Byproduct, but more importantly, we've oxidized to the carbonyl. And this is the key byproduct, and we're done.